Plug flow reactors, also known as tubular reactors, consist of cylindrical pipe with openings on each end for reactants and products to flow through, as shown on the right. Plug flow reactors are usually operated at steady state. Reactants are continually consumed as they flow down the length of the reactor. The movie shows the operation of a plug flow reactor. Plugs of reactants are continuously fed into the reactor from the left. As the plug flows down the reactor, the reaction takes place, resulting in an actual concentration gradient. Products and unreacted reactants flow out of the reactors continuously. Plug flow reactors may be configured as one long tube or a number of shorter tubes. They range in diameter from few centimeters to several meters. The choice of diameter is based on construction cost, pumping cost, and heat transfer needs. The picture on the right shows a disassembled tubular reactors. Plug flow reactors have a wide variety of applications in either gas or liquid phase systems. Common industrial uses of tubular reactors are in gasoline production, oil cracking, synthesis of ammonia from its elements, and the oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. Picture on the left is a, tubular reaction, is a tubular reactor used in research on the oxidation of nitrogen compounds. It reaches temperature of 800 to 1100 degrees Celsius. Tubular reactors can also be used as bioreactors or for small scale production. The tubular reactor shown on the right has a capacity of less than 100 milliliter and is used for micro scale reactions. Advantages of plug flow reactors Easily maintained since there are no moving parts High conversion rate per reactor volume Mechanically simple Unvarying product quality Good for studying rapid reactions Efficient use of reactor volume Good for large capacity processes Disadvantages Reactor temperature difficult to control Hot spots may occur within reactor when used for exothermic reactions Difficult to control due to temperature and composition variation.